Hey there, just wanted to show you how you could use CB mod without the stereo breakout cable. You can certainly do that. You can use it in mono mode. So we've got a 3.5 millimeter mono cable here. I'm just gonna plug that right into the headphone out on the iPad, if I can find it. And then first I'll just set this to the init patch. So we'll go to presets and select init. And we're back to the default. Now the first thing I want to do is just turn off that second oscillator. So go press the button that says CV2. When it's orange it's on. So we'll just press it. And now that second oscillator is off. And we'll just be working with oscillator 1. Now to demonstrate, I'm going to use the Behringer Neutron. Uh, so right now I don't have anything hooked up to it. You can see the patch bay is uh, uh, completely clean. I just got MIDI in. So I'll start a sequence from the key step. I apologize, I didn't get very creative with this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to modulate the filter. By default, LFO, the LFO is already routed to the filter on the Neutron. So if we turn up the mod depth, you can hear the filter mo being modulated. Turn that all the way down. Now I'm going to take the other end of that 3.5 millimeter cable and I'm going to plug it into the Freak mod. Turn the rate up. Doesn't seem like anything's going on, does it? Alright, well, the thing is, if we not want to modulate the frequency with any input source, we have to go back over here and crank up the mod depth. So, And we can bring the depth down to control the amount of modulation. We can also use drive to boost the signal. When you do that, it distorts the waveform a little bit, so it's, it actually turns the sine wave into more of a square. So if you use drive and you don't want it to distort, you have to bring the depth down quite a bit. Um, myself, I prefer not to use drive with a sine wave. Now we can actually boost this a little bit more if we use the attenuator. Is just a way to kind of control the, the mod depth of an input, I guess is one way to put it. So what we're going to do now is plug... Now you can hear that the uh, LFO has taken back over for the modulation of the filter. Anyway, so what I'll do now is plug this into the attenuator 1 input. Turn that all the way down first. I'm going to take another patch cable and go from attenuator 1 output and then plug that back in to the frequency mod input. Now you can hear that the LFO is having no effect on the filter again because we've got something plugged into the frequency mod input. So now to affect the mod depth, I'll turn up attenuator 1. And to me 
see this gives it a little bit um, more emphasis than just plugging the CV mod app straight from the headphone jack into the frequency mod. If we go into the attenuator first, we get a little bit more of a boost. So this is somehow amplifying the signal a little bit. Uh, to me it sounds like it, uh, it does a little bit more, it has more of an effect when you use the attenuator. for the lameness of the sequence. Forgetting that whenever I use random, it's a good idea to change the um, upper limit of the frequency range to something lower. Otherwise, when it's going too fast, it just kind of sounds like noise. later to pan over to the left so they're coming out the same channel. Now we can go ahead and turn it on. They're both being used. The problem is they're just going to step all over each other but maybe you want to, uh, maybe that's what you want. If I did 
disconnect this from frequency mod, the LFO is going to take over here. So, that's it. Just wanted to uh, show you how you could use CV mod with just a mono output instead of stereo. I hope that helps. Once again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much and uh, jam on.